Oh, fuck off. It's 8 in the morning, which unfortunately means it's time to get up. I am not a morning person. <laughs> then again, I probably didn't help myself by staying up until 3 a.m. last night. Ah, uh, yep. I'm gonna regret this one in the morning. Hmm. Good morning, world. <sighs> Oh god, sorry, I just scare myself at this time in the morning. Uh. Can I point this out, that this happens every single morning when I turn on my computer? It sounds like that. But I imagine two Transformers to have sexual intercourse sounds like. I mean, it ain't Mozart, but it's pretty close. <sighs> and the way I start my day, with whole grain wheat bixies, also known as... My poor people Weetabix. Oh, I love that student life. Uh -uh. Why did I do that? This is what I like to call the last bit of happiness I'm gonna have before my day is ruined by 9am. Watching YouTube while eating me Weetabix. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to wake myself up by eating cereal. Bye now. So in case any of you might be wondering, this is literally the attire that I would wear, that I, w that I do wear for about 60 to 70 percent of my week. Oh wait Now this is the entire I wear. However, I'm not gonna walk to uni like this Because I'll get put on a register my literally my timetable today is so full I have two four-hour sessions and they're both lab sessions Which means I'm in the lab all day doing experiments and then the second lab session is I'm in a makeshift crime scene in which I have to assess. It's basically a formative, but this does mean that I'm not allowed my phone in any of the practicals, let alone my camera, so I don't really know exactly what footage I'm gonna get, but we'll see. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go be a forensic scientist now. I'll let you know where it goes, and if I can get footage, I will. Literally the last four hours I've been doing, like literally dressed like this. It's a sauna. So sorry for the no vlog footage. It's currently six o'clock, and I've literally only just left. Hi, my name's Lunch Lady Matthew. How can I take your order? So hot. Also, my thumb, my I broke. Oh no. Crime scene is done. I'm the only one in this room. Crime scene is done. I get to keep these. And weirdly, I, th I think I'm gonna. I kinda look like a doctor. So yeah, we're going home now. Finally. I can take all this off. Sweaty mess right now. And we're going home. And I don't know what we can do. Watch Netflix probably. Because I'm a bad student. Let's go. Crime scene facility, and we out. Four hours, but we're done. All right, so we're back in the flat. Now, I want to do some work. I want to, you know, as, as, a, as any student, especially as a master's student in forensic science, you kind of need to do that extra bit of reading and extra bit of work. I know, I know. <laughs> but what do you need if you're going to have a huge revision sesh? Snacks. So where does one go when he wants to feed his inner fat boy? Middle. Also, can I point out how convenient this this little is? Literally, that's my building. I come out by here, walk up this street, and I'm there. Everything is so well placed. I love it. Yeet. What food should I get? Cornflakes? Nah. Peanuts? Get the fuck out of my life. Pringles? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give an informative week in the life of, of a forensic science student. But in reality, being fat for 10 minutes. Yes. Okay, I got three packets. Don't you judge me. I just found a pair of keys on the floor and now I don't know what to do. I ran to the person in front of me, but it's not this. So now I'm like standing outside little. Don't know what to do with these keys. <laughs> Shit, I'm just gonna give them to little. Oh, okay. Back in we go with some keys that I don't know whose they are. I'm a rapper. I found these keys outside and I'm not. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. And just like that, the keys are no longer my problem. Also, if you're wondering how busy my weeks are here at uni. So this is my week this week. Honestly, like I'll show you every single week, it's different. Like there's no set time. Oh, that's a lovely week. There's no set timetable. But this week is a busy bitch, which is kind of why I chose to do my week in the life this week. Because uh, honestly, although not every day is rampacked with, every single week is rampacked with lectures and practicals and formative crime scenes and shit, it's a busy, like, this is a busy degree. Yeah, if you're not in lectures, in practicals, in the labs, in a crime scene uh, room, then you're in the library, you're at home studying, you're doing your work. So I've Pretty, I've never been so busy so quickly at uni. Probably because I've never been really that interested. But... <laughs> Don't you judge me. Take me where you go. When 
As you can tell by how rough I look, we have another 9am. Now can I just point out, I never went to, used to go to my 9am's. My entire undergrad degree, my attendance for every 9am combined was at about 25%. So anyone gives me shit for not going to lectures. I made such an improvement. I am now a good student. Ha! As you can tell, this was a tough one for me. Uh, I was really struggling. It was basically a revision session for forensic science chemistry. And uh, I don't know what's happening in here. It's the plot a bit, haven't I? What do you do when you use up your entire overdraft and are running out of money? You open a new one. I'm not good with money. Apparently I can't just walk in there and open a graduate uh, student account. Uh, it takes a little bit of planning and a little bit of a... Uh... Explaining to this young dumb asshole. So uh, they set me up an appointment and gave me four things to get I think firstly being a passport secondly being my national insurance number thirdly being my provisional driver's license And fourthly me on time on the right day. So I got all of them except one thing. Can you guess what I couldn't find? <sighs> my passport I decided to um t To do this I've turned my room literally upside down in search of this passport. This room is grim right now, everything everywhere. This entire room has been completely screwed to look for this passport. So I'm there like, bruh, it's not here. Oh, hi there. So I decided to message home and I'm like, yo, where's my passport? My mom's like, oh, we don't have it, you had it. It's in Huntersfield. I'm like, bitch, I turned everything over. We'd, bath we'd made a passport. And this is the reason I love doing YouTube because we go over to here, go on the most recent one, which is my moving into university. If we go to like, and I did this earlier, if we come to about by here, oh. fuck my, what? Uh, I'm such a money hungry. Prick. There's nothing actually put anywhere. Everything is still in the bag. Everything is still popping. There! Do you see that? Bingo! I forgot this even existed because I put that there. Also, do you like my stitch? Oh, if we move this over and dip my hand into the treasure chest. However, I did find a fiver on the floor. This was pretty good. We finally made it to the library. And now genuinely, guys, I really do try to put a lot of effort into my work this year. What does the blood mean? <laughs> so this is basically where I took an hour or two in the evening to work on my blood pattern analysis assignment. Do you know the way blood fits on the fake queen? <laughs> basically, a fake crime scene was set up and multiple pictures were given to each of us, along with a suspect statement. And we basically had to write a report on what the blood patterns show. And we had to work out whether the suspect was telling the truth or a lie. How much of a psycho must I look to the people out there that walk past when I'm sitting here on my laptop and there's just blood? On the screen, okay, YouTube, you're not allowed to flag this and you're also not allowed to demonetize this. That is not real blood. That is fake blood. It's a fake crime scene, a fake setup crime scene. I think I've stayed in enough blood for the night. It's now 10 o'clock. Uh, the library's significantly quieter, so I think I'm gonna head out now. I am because I'm getting hungry and I think you can imagine what I want. Give me the pizza. I have no, like, objection to sitting here and doing this. This is actually fun to me. Does that make me a sadistic fuck? Oh well. Alright, the bread's been acquired. Also, it's bonfire night tonight. If you can hear in the background some bangs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's bonfire. It's bonfire night tonight. And I spent it uh, staring at blood on a wall. <laughs> Forensic science student, everybody. We will make a sound out in the dark where no one sees. I'd say that's probably a good time to get up. Yes, I decided to have a lie in. Shoot me. Let's get these blinds open. Ah, oh, look how good of a day it looks. I love it when it's sunny. As to why I decided to have the world's biggest lion, I, this is my only chance to have a lion this week with assignments and the rest of my week being filled with 9 a.m.s. I wanted a lion and so I literally just didn't set an alarm and uh, yeah, then that happened. This is how I check if it's raining or not. This must look really weird from outside, but I think we're good. I've been screwed over the past three mornings with rain, so please don't rain. All right, so first was my quality and presentation lecture. We're basically discussing various drugs and narcotics and, and the laws and how they changed over time and why they changed. Now, I particularly enjoyed this lecture because as you guys know, I am an avid user of magic mushrooms. I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. 
it's cocaine. And then next was crime scene awareness. For basically two hours, we were learning about human remains, bones, where a criminal may bury their victim when they've killed them, and what instruments we can use to find and uncover these bones to help solve a crime. She's still blue. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have to get up for 9 a.m. And that's why I fucking hate you. Also, can you tell that my razor, my shaver gave out on me like halfway through? I literally did this area and then it... <sighs> my razor fucked me today. That's good. All right, let's go to the labs. Yeet. Now this next one, I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer. I was in the lab for four hours and we were, we were doing entomology. So basically, this practical, we were playing with maggots. So if you don't like little crittly crawlies, I would suggest go into this time and uh, it, it'll, it'll be over. Basically, we went in and we had to do a load of things with maggots under the microscope. We were given a maggot each to basically study them, see how they react to light, see how they move, all this kind of stuff, make observations. So I may have some sick f***s as lecturers, and I'm saying this outright, because they let us have our maggots, okay, this one, he, he was Dave, I loved Dave, me and Dave, we got on, and I fucking named him, and then about an hour and a half after naming him and becoming attached to our new, new pet, they were like, great, you're gonna go get four other maggots, and you're gonna put them with your maggot that you have, you're gonna boil his kettle and pour it on them, to kill them, you want me to kill Dave? And uh, because of this, I did not kill Dave, I want you all to know that Dave actually got a friend by the end of it, look at that shit. Better than Twilight! So yeah, I didn't kill Dave, I kept him, I killed four, five other randoms, yes, I am still a murderer. I'm sorry! It is fucking grim. Look at how fast that river's flowing. Mate, it's disgusting. Oh, my camera's off. I gotta go. Bye. Okay, we're home now. So, for the next, uh, probably like an hour, I'm probably just gonna sit here and- Oh, there's a light here! I'm probably just gonna sit here and try to do as much of my performer as possible. It's my, uh, my forensic biology. There's a party in your head, I can see it. Your eyes, they tell me everything. And even if you don't wanna believe Okay, so I've done uh, an, uh, I've done about an hour of work on that, and it's about half five now, so my room's booked for six until eight. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to Little, I'm gonna get some snacks, I'm gonna get some croissants, because I'm actually kind of hungry and really, really peckish, and then we're gonna head straight to uni. The truth is just too clear to see You're fighting with the devil on your shoulder, 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 shoulder Disgusting out here. Also, do you like my umbrella? It looks like a pride umbrella. The only snack I need to get me through this assignment. Three croissants. So I'm feeling right now. As if the lift doesn't go all the way to six. Peasantry shit. Now I have to use my legs to walk. <laughs> Final time in the library, once again, working on my blood pattern analysis. As you can see, I'm all alone in this room. Once again, I'm unsociable little shit. I mean, this was the last day I could have done it because I was in lectures all day tomorrow. So I needed to get this done. It needed to be done before I left this library. And well... So in here now, I'm just kind of finalizing my performer before I upload it because I don't have any time to... It is due tomorrow at four, but I'm in lectures from 9 a.m until four. That's kind of what's happening right now. I got my croissant, I got my empty bottle of water, which I can also eat, and I've got the motivation. Like fuck. And... done. Okay, so the performer is completely finished. I have my paper version here. I have the questions I had to do on my laptop by here. I've now got to take this. I've got to log on to one of these computers, print it off from the uni, then scan this back in so it's all one PDF and then send it and turn it in, use and turn it in to get marked in 12 weeks time. We've actually finished in really good time because it is only 7.49 right now, which means I can go home, I can relax, I can eat my fucking croissants and be happy, so. There we are boys and girls. I have uploaded my blood pattern analysis pro forma. Boom, be gone thought. You know, it's an all well and good joke bit for the vlog, 
But as soon as I turn this camera off, I have to go pick this shit up. The joys of finishing an assignment and just being able to actually crash in bed a decent time rather than being over there. Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. Right, so it's 9 a.m. I got my forensic science chemistry awareness lecture. And I'm late. Shock. Okay, so I would show you clips from this lecture. I didn't make do any clips mainly because it was 9 a.m. and I was doing a master's module in forensic chemistry, so I wasn't too happy. Obviously! But I will give you this. One minute. It's over here. In this lecture, we were learning about mass spectrometry. What it is, what it does, how you use it, the functions, all that kind of stuff. And they decided to teach us mass spectrometry. I, I, I rate this, I really do, but... From an by perspective, it uh, may seem like we're in the happy class, if you know what I mean. Uh, we, they taught us using this. The Hello Kitty Guide to Mass Spectrometry. This is how we learned the lecture. It, basically, the entire lecture was us learning mass spectrometry using little Hello Kitty characters. However, the mood was slightly dampened when one of our foreign students decided to tell us that from her country, um, Hello Kitty is actually known as Satan trying to contact children through cartoon characters. So that kind of put a damper on things. This must mean that my university are satanic worshippers. That was a joke. Please don't kick me out of the uni. Ha! Comedy. You had my forensic biology awareness uh, lecture. And now, a bit of preface. My lecturer in this, in, this, in this module will throw us random facts just to keep us engaged throughout the lecture so that we don't go... <laughs> Now today's random fact was very interesting and I got my reaction. This was me finding out back in the day, back in a different line of humans before they went extinct. How do I say this? Uh, had spiky cocks. What the fuck? I don't know what you're gonna do with that information. Uh, do not search it up for four main reasons. One, you're gonna come up with some horrific porn. Two, uh, you're probably gonna ruin your browsing history forever. Three, you're probably gonna have a SWAT team at your house the next following morning. And four, even if you bypass all of that and you get to it, you will be scarred for life. And finally, we had a lab that day. It's a lab to teach us how to use certain instruments that we'd use in the future now. So basically we had to weigh and we had to use these, uh, these like, pipette things. And now genuine question, how the f did I get into this uni? Just, just, just look at what I'm, I made an inflatable hand with my glove at the end of the practical. Like, what? I have finally found the downside to having all of this space to myself. Oh, shit, me, yeah. It means after a day of not being in here, getting this thing to warm up and warm up the room takes years. I'm freezing my nipples up. Look at him. Not gonna lie to you, this is a slightly more menacing look from the uni that I'm used to. Um, bitch be red today. I actually kind of dig it. It's better than the blue. It's been the blue. It's been a smurf for like a month. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Hey, hey. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, yeah. Yo, legit though, probably one of my most well-deserved weekends is coming up and I am so happy it is the weekend. Look, I'm already in my dressing gown. It's only like... Half eleven, I'm about to get into a bed. I'm about to watch some Netflix. I'm about to chill, bitch. My hair is a perfect description of how I feel right now. And we're back here. I'm gonna end this week in the life. Now, this was kind of more of informative rather than my usual, I'm gonna do goofy sit things for a week. But if you guys, I wanna be doing one one of these a month, I'm thinking, like one, one week in the life forensic science student a month. And I think you guys will enjoy that. And now everyone I hang out with at uni know about this whole thing. So it'll be a lot easier to bring the camera around. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you very soon for another video. Follow me on Instagram and all my social medias will be in the description below. Share the video with your friends if you did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you very, very soon for another video. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.